Hello, this is Tofan Trifold Production with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can create wakes in Blender. Uh, a wake is the bubbles, the white caps you see that are created in an ocean from like waves crashing against themselves or on itself and or people or objects being propelled through water. Is that foam you see behind uh, objects in the water, basically. And to do that easily in Blender, um, we're going to use the, I'll, I'll introduce you guys to the easy wake add-on. It's not a free add-on that you have to pay for it, but for the price, it's not that bad. And I'm using Blender 4.0. Uh, to my knowledge at this point, it's only for 4.0. I don't know if the developer has updated it, but the version I'm using is for 4.0 only. Uh, and I'll leave a link of it below the video so you can download yourselves and check it out. And once you download it onto your system, the installation process is still the same. Go to Edit, Preferences, Install, Navigate to where you've downloaded it on your, to your system. Make sure you keep it in the zip folder. Click on it. Click on Install Add-on. And once that's done, we type in Easy. Put a check in the box that's activated. And it's on the right-hand side of your UI, which is over here. Easy Wake Add-on. It's got a nice little font uh, that really displays it or shows it, which is not bad. And the key thing is with this add-on is that you have to make sure whatever model you use, and this is, I don't know if it's a bug or what it is, but you have to make sure that your model was right in the middle of the scene when you click on Add Dynamic Ocean. And I'll give you a physical um, reason why. I'll just show you what happens when it's not in the middle of your scene. So with our cube, we're just going to stick with the cube here just to show the uh, what it can do. So add dynamic ocean, and it adds this ocean, <clears throat> excuse me, to your scene. Now the only thing that's going to render out is the ocean itself, and we'll see the uh, rocks and the bottom of the ocean won't be seen when you render out your scene. It'll just be seen underneath the water, which had, helps it add depth to your scene. Uh, but you can see that our cube is going to be our ship. And it's got all these settings here, which are just pretty much straightforward and direct. Uh, but let's click on our uh, picker here, eyedropper, and click on our cube. We're going to have our cube represent the ocean. And then we're going, or actually have our cube represent the ship. And then click on draw ship path. And you use your pen tool here just to draw a path here. And once you've done that, you just press play and watch what happens. It just follows that path easily, which is pretty cool. I mean, you don't have to set up a modifier with the um, curves and have your model follow the curve path, anything like that. It does it automatically for you. Now I'm going to show you what happens when you don't allow or you don't have your model sitting in the middle. It's going to do some crazy stuff, but let me show you what happens. Let's start up a new scene. Now to show you what happens, we'll go to the settings here to see what the settings can do. Don't save. And we're going to click on our move gizmo and pull the cube to the back here so that it'll appear outside of the center. And then we're going to activate the add-on again. Easy wake add-on, add dynamic uh, ocean. Click on our eyedropper, scroll or click on our cube here. Click on our pen tool or the draw ship path option. We're going to make our path here and then press play <clears throat> and look what happens. The cube stays on the outside of our scene here. So always make sure that you start your model uh, in the center of the uh, of the scene, not on the edge or anything anywhere else, just in the center or else this will happen. But let's uh, start back up so we can go through the parameters that the Easy Wake add-on has offer. Don't save. Set the scene again. Uh, click on our eyedropper. Click on our cube there for our ocean or our uh, ship. Draw ship path. Let's draw our path here and press play. And there we go. Now, as I said before, the wake part. Oh, these are little particles, these bubbles back here. But let's change our scene here so we can see what this looks like. Uh, we're going to 
change our rendering view here first. Cycles. Turn this to GPU. I think it renders an EV, but Cycles obviously looks better. Our maximum samples, let's make it 128. Enter. Click on our world settings. Turn it from gray to a bluish, light blue sky color. And then we're going to click on our um, sphere there and turn that from a spot, that light source from a spot to the sun. And turn it to like a yellowish color to represent the sun a little bit better, make it darker. And let's click on change our viewport here, see what this looks like. And now you can see that, as I mentioned earlier, the rocks and sand underneath won't be appearing in your scene when you render this out. But you, these are the the uh, rocks here, all these white parts here. Those are actually the rocks being seen from the water surface underneath the water. So that's pretty cool. But this is our wake here. This white stuff is our wake. And if we scroll down. You can see we have some options here. I'm not going to go through all of them, just you know the important ones. Now you can um, increase the size. Now the time here, the frame rate is, in Blender, the frame rate is 24 frames per second, which means for every time this, this goes to 24 frames, which would be here, around this area, that's a second. So right now our timeline is up to probably around 10 seconds or so. So that's what this is. Um, the viewport resolution, you know, the, how well defined you want the uh, the render ring of our ocean here to look. Uh, render resolution when you your final render, you can bump that up. But the higher you set these, the longer it'll take for it to render out because it's going to add pretty much more uh, vertices to your model. So you want to just keep, I mean, I think it looks good at 10, at the default 10 looks great. Now the depth is from the heights of the water to the seabed, so to speak, and change that. Now the size of the size of the overall scene. If we go back to uh, a different solid shading in our viewport, and we click on our uh, C setting here, if we make this bigger, what it's going to do is going to make this whole scene bigger, but it's going to we're going to lose a lot of uh, detail in the ocean. Click on that, turn this to like a hundred, enter. You can see all the waves are pretty much gone. But let's point, put this back to 0.68, I think it was, enter. The smaller or the default size is good enough for this because you can see it's not going to be overwhelming for your system and you'll keep all the details in your, in your scene also. Now the spatial size, it makes it bigger also, but you still have more detail left on the ocean, which is fine. If we pump this up to 100, you'll see the difference from the other one. You can see the sea still has ripples in it, which is good. Put this back down to 50. Enter. Uh, once again, random seed is the variation in the overall look of your ocean. It just randomizes the look of it. That's all that does. Now the wave settings, you can increase the scale of it, uh, increase the size of the smallest wave, the choppiness of the wave. Uh, but from what I've seen, these settings look fine. You also have presets down here. Uh, this is the established wave here. You have turbulent ocean, established ocean, uh, established ocean with sharp peaks and shallow water. So you can choose from those four presets if you don't want to have to do. If you don't want to have anything to do with these settings, just change it in the presets here, and it looks fine still. Um, here, this pretty much affects the look of your, for the most part, these two here, the age and particle radius and particle density affects the weight here, because these are just particles here that make up the foaminess of the ocean. If you increase the density, let's go back to the beginning. If Right now, the density of our particles is at 250. If we double that to 500, enter, and it's gonna increase, so if we press play, there are more bubbles now. And if you decrease the obviously it's going to be less bubbles. Put this back to 250. Enter. The age is how long you want these bubbles to stay in the uh, on the ocean as the objects go past. And that object propels itself through the water. Uh, the particle radius 
that's like the size of the particles. So if you bump this up to, right now it's at 0.02, if you bump this up to one, enter, or you press play, it just makes them really, really big. And we don't want that. So that's what that does. Put this back to 0 0.02, enter, and play. Yeah, there we go, yeah. So that, all the default settings here, they look, they pretty much work fine, but if you want to change them, you can. Uh, you can also, you can bake it also, which is also nice. Now, the one I'm going, what I want to do is to test it to see how well, or if it can actually work when we import in, uh, a model we've downloaded from online into Blender, because at this point, everything that's made in Blender, it works with. But let's see what it does with an object that's not made in Blender. So file, and I've already downloaded something myself. Uh, don't save. Now let's get rid of our cube here and go to file and import and it's all and it should always be an obj based object and i've got one here this is just a of a couch copy left click control v to paste enter click on the armchair i'm going to import and here's our armchair now it's, it's been separated so we're just going to join all these parts together click on that 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 and the legs, <clears throat> press Control J, and click on our move gizmo. Let's make sure it's all um, tied up together. So press G, it's all together. Now we're going to click on our Easy Wake add-on, Add Dyma Dynamic Ocean. Uh, click on our cushion or our sofa for the ship. Left click, left click and draw ship path. Left click and drag. And then press play, see what happens. It works. You don't see the wake behind it for some reason. You don't see that part. But it's partially works. It's partially working in the sense that the couch itself is moving through the scene or floating on the ocean and following the path. But the point of the easy wake add on is to have the bubbles of foam behind. Uh, the object that's being propelled through the water and it's not doing that part so it it'll work with objects that are made in blender not so much with objects that have been imported into blender which is not too bad but that's today's blender quick tip and i hope that uh, those of you who have watched it have learned something from it and i hope you try it out yourself just to give it a give it a go and once again, thank you guys for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.